Hello everyone, my name is Felipe from Electric Bike Advisor and today I'm going to review the XTS E-Cross electric bike. Uh, I want to give my thanks to Bikes Dever in Fairfield, Melbourne that um, helped me with this review by providing the electric bike. Okay, let's talk about the features of this electric bike. 15 inches and 17 inches aluminum frame available for people between 150 centimeters to 180 and 180 uh, centimeters high so I felt quite comfortable sitting on it with a seat post ma maximum extension of 33 centimeters um, what else I see here the mod guards, PVC plastic, and from my perspective, it's good as in it doesn't contribute to the overall weight of the of the bike. But maybe for some people, it might be not ideal in terms of quality. So it could be it could be fragile and easily to break. Um, but I like that fact of not adding extra weight. The brakes, Tektro, 160 rotors, hydraulic system. Let's now see the motor. Bafang M400. This is a 250 watts mid-drive motor with 80 Nm torque uh, that is a actual high torque value for this uh, for a commuter electric bike uh, normally bikes would be like in this type of models would be between 50 to 60 Nm torque so for this model definitely is a high value um, and it will it will provide very noticeable push when pedaling so that's something that i'm going to be testing when i do the test ride rear rack aluminium made and i believe that this would be rated at 20 kilograms carry weight which is kind of a standard uh, value for uh, racks and for electric bikes. One thing that I see here with this rear rack is that you can adjust it as you need to. That is a really nice feature. If you need to lift it because of your pannier is too big or too low, well, generally too big, uh, yeah, you can adjust it for your needs. That is a really great feature for this this one especially for this bike now we have the battery 36 volts Panasonic 396 watts hour uh, embedded in the rear rack uh, from what I can see it is uh, water resistant not waterproof so that means that yeah in a rainy day it would be okay for a little bit but if you're gonna be planning a long ride uh, you, you're gonna have potentially issues with the water going into the system and that's not something that you want to be experiencing while riding now the drive system the drive train system Shimano Aceda eight-speed drivetrain and one thing that I actually can see here and I haven't seen in many bikes is these uh, plates out in and out normally you will have the external plate to prevent the chain to go out and then you, you having to put it back in or Whatever you need to do but also it's not common to have a internal disc 
to prevent it from going between the, the crankset and the motor. That'll be something very dangerous if that happens. I mean, as in damaging the chain and potentially the drivetrain, um, especially if you're going to a high speed. So this is really awesome. And also it is aluminum. So added extra weight, not too much, but good quality. In terms of the sensors, we have two sensors embedded in this bike gear or shift sensor which basically controls the motor to operate or not and at the time of doing the shifting so that basically prevents from the, the extra torque of the motor damaging the whole drivetrain over time it's not going to happen in just one go but yeah it just disengages the motor when doing the shifts protecting the whole drivetrain system that's awesome and also the uh, speed sensor and there will be a little magnet here hard to see to focus uh, it, and it gets activated every time it rotates and then tells the uh, motor when to provide the assistance or when to stop it depending on the speed what else do we have here in terms of safety i don't see any front or rear lights unfortunately it is only these reflectors that yeah nowadays is not the best thing to to have is something but it'll be better to to have some sort of light lighting system and i can see that actually you can add a rear light so it'll be buying it and then adding it to the battery so you can hook it up to it and have its own power now tires kendra tires really good brand in terms of tires for electric bikes this one is a 28 inch by 2 inch which is not too thick for my liking and but provides the the grip seems to be like very decent for wet conditions so maybe not a deal breaker for some people for me it's not considering this is a commuter bike now the controller thumb control for on and off and all shifting of the features of the Bafang LCD display and uh, while playing with it we can I can see that there is a five pedal assist level offered by this one by this model and I can see well this this controller or display is not giving the range maximum range of the battery I know with a full battery it's gonna give you a around 75 kilometers range if you use pedal assist one and you will have a 34 35 kilometers range if you use a five pedal assist all the time so i'm gonna do a quick test ride and see how the motor behaves and assist okay pedal assist one let's see how it goes very gentle push from the motor I'm not pushing too much yet I'm having a good support from the motor <laughs> going a little bit of road and yeah it does what it needs to do for a pedal assist one Okay, pedal assist two. Wow, okay, I can feel the change between one and two. Definitely provides more power. Okay, let's try pedal assist five. Wow, Jesus, <laughs> I'm not doing much and it's just giving all the power. Let's, let's feel the 
torque from zero with pedal assist five. Oh yes. Very nice, very smooth, very comfy. So another thing that I wanna test here is the weight, something that is important for many people and it's a problem generally in most of electric bikes. Ah, okay. I can definitely see that there is more weight on the rear end, of course, because of the battery embedded in the rear rack. And, but I think that it's around 17, 20 kilograms, uh, which is not bad for a commuter bike. And of course the whole system made of aluminium makes it makes, makes it a great buy i think if that's something important you want to consider okay, so i want to test where at where the motor stops providing assistance so let's see Okay, 25, I feel like I need to pedal now. <laughs> uh, I'm testing pedal five. Dang. Yeah, 25, that's it. The motor doesn't do anything else. I can feel one thing is when getting that speed bump, there is a slight movement of the frame. I've seen it feels like it's wobbly a little bit. It's not too bad though, but that's potentially because of the battery embedded in the back. A couple of things that I want to mention also is the cabling. It's been designed to go through the lower, lower tube and makes, making it more aesthetically pleasing, which is great. I think, I think that that's a nice touch from XDS. And also, very noticeable feature, no front suspension. Um, so yeah, this bike is gonna provide a level of comfort based thanks to the Kendra tires, but it's not the type of model that you wanna have going on an off-road adventure all the time. So my advice, Considering all the parts that have been embedded in this whole system, Panasonic battery, 36 volts, Bafang, 250 watts motor, Bafang controller as well, aluminum frame, adjustable rear rack, texture brakes, Kendra tires. It is fitted with very high quality components and for the tag price that is found in the market, I think it'll be a good buy.